So I'm in Ellis Brigham getting kitted out with some of next year's kit. And uh, these boots are amazing. Now, I've never really had proper technical walking boots before. These Salomon Alp jobs are certainly more technical than probably I will ever need. I'm getting fitted out for a new backpack. Got one of these giant Osprey ones. Obviously, I've gone for the biggest one. 70 litres, I think, should be enough. I think it expands even bigger. So uh, we're not going to go short of kit on the next adventure. <laughs> So it's one of those December days when the sun never really fully comes up. Obviously it's daylight out there on the distance, but look at the difference here. Inside the forest, it's quite dark and gray and uh, the tents are pretty well camouflaged. So we're going in. See already, it's like night in here. fire is being prepared. So we've got medium sticks, tiny sticks, yeah. tinder, charcoal. charcoal, bed, medium sized logs, starting on the big logs using this beautiful Opinel saw that I've got. And then we'll be nice and warm. torch the whole lot. We need to pretend. Yeah, yeah, let's, oh, let's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That work. That's close. Let's try again with that. So we've been careful with the wind direction this time because uh, last time we were in this spot we learned to our displeasure that this kind of evergreen wood burns really well but it also spits embers and the wind was blowing still lit bits of sparks right into our tent so it melted a few holes. So uh, this time we've been a bit smarter with the way we've placed our fire. All you Instagram food bores, watch this and weep. Claude here, still resentful because he didn't like the rain last night. So Forestry Commission have very kindly packaged me up a Christmas tree. Just got to work out how to get it in the Land Rover. It's a, it's a decent old size. 
Yeah, that'll fit. 